What's up guys, Ken and Danny here. Today we're talking about upgrading our bike with a used pair of wheels. We do often say that uh, changing the wheels on our bike is one of the best way to really improve the bike uh, because the way that bike handles uh, the, uh, the weight of the bike, um, also the stiffness on, on, uh, on a whole construction and the rotational mass depends a lot on the wheel set that we have. Uh, if you are riding some cool bike like myself, I consider my CAT 10 very cool bike, but it has the Shimano RS11 um, wheel set, which is uh, quite heavy. It weighs around 2000 grams and it's not very stiff. Uh, I don't love it and I would like to have something that I love in my bike. Uh, and I purchased this BH, very cool bike. We're gonna be talking a lot about this bike later in different uh, videos. Uh, but I purchased that one with this pair of uh, wheels and we've got here the Shimano Altigra. If we look here inside, WHR601. So this is the Altigra 6600 generation. Uh, there was 6700 and today we have 6800. So uh, some people would consider this old, but these aren't old in terms of the technologies. And I'm gonna uh, show you that. Today you're gonna be able to find these uh, used Altegra wheels in price range of, uh, let's say, a Shimano RS11 or RS330 uh, uh, wheels that are much heavier. Uh, these wheels uh, will weigh together exactly 1700 grams on my scale at least. Uh, Shimano would claim uh, 1690 grams. So there is no so not so much different, but this will be around 250, 300 grams lighter than the wheels that you can buy new today from Shimano. Of course, it depends largely on the condition that you are going to buy these wheels in. Uh, but these we have bought with this cool BH aero bike and it's in great condition. I'm going to show you just a couple of features. Maybe one that we don't have um, in these wheels that would have the 6700 and 6800 uh, Altegra is that we've got the holes here in the inner walls, meaning that there is uh, no tubeless ready system uh, on this. Uh, that means that uh, the rim would be lighter usually, so you can use uh, the stands, no tubes tape for, for this uh, purpose. And then let's just talk about some features. So you can see here, um, CL, that's for the clincher. And here it says triple butted spoke. So we do have 16 triple butted spokes in the front, a radial, and then 20 uh, triple butted spokes uh, on the rear wheel, from the drive side radial, and from the non-drive side uh, cross pattern. The Shimano hubs have of course the uh, cup and cone system, so it's very easy to maintain. You can, you are able to uh, adjust the, the play on the bearings. That's cool. Very easy to uh, take off everything and uh, clean inside. Very good. Uh, we've got also the uh, straight pull system on, the, uh, on our spokes so that there is no J-band on the spokes. Uh, you would tighten the nipples from the hub side here. These wheels usually last for many thousands of kilometers. On the rim we have a very good braking surface and also the wear indicators as you can see. Uh, when you are buying used one, don't worry about any dirt or anything coming into this little hole drilled on the, on the rim, but you have to see it's still there. When it's still there and the surface is quite even, it's very even here, that means the, these wheels will be able to go for many many rides. Let's look at the rear wheel and the features that it's got. We can see here the offset rim. So if we look at the rim you can see that it's asymmetrical. The drive side spokes have been moved to the left. So this is something that uh, Shimano calls a offset rim. Then we have the aluminum free hub body. That's this one. Then we have same uh, triple butted spokes and the clincher system uh, on these wheels. If we look at the wear indicator, we can see it's still there. So it's just fine uh, with this wheel. Uh, same system for the bearings. We'll have the cup and cone system here. And I love the look of the oversized uh, hub. So again, we have no uh, J bands on the, on the spokes. The wheel really gives you the stiffness that you wanna have. And these beautiful shiny hubs look just wonderful, especially uh, when you're riding in the sun. 
And then we have these gray quick releases that would weigh around a hundred and, some, and something, 115 grams, something like that. Uh, these are of course not the super light wheels. These are not the, the high end, the best wheels on the market. They can be a great way to upgrade your bike in terms of the weight and also these are just durable, good wheels. Uh, I have very good, good opinion about those Shimano wheels. Maybe the graphics on the rims don't look like super fancy on them but I would put some, some uh, custom decals on them and the hubs do look very very nice indeed. This is when I wanted to tell you about those 6 600 wheels that we're gonna have the video about uh, the hub maintenance as well. If you're riding these wheels uh, just tell us what do you think about them and I will see you in the next video very very soon. Thanks for watching and bye bye!